Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to Mastering 3D in Photoshop. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kirk Nelson. I am a professional graphics designer with over 15 years of experience. I've won several awards and gotten a little bit of recognition here and there. I'm also a frequent instructor here at Tuts Plus, and I have been published in international trade publications over 200 times. I am an Adobe certified expert in Photoshop, and I am here today to introduce you to the wondrous world of 3D tools in Photoshop. Now, one of the things about the 3D features in Photoshop is they're not as mature and robust as the other features when it comes to image editing, but they are quite powerful. There's a lot that you can do, and we'll explore the majority of the features that will help you out with your digital designs. Now, if you've ever tried to take a look at some of the features in Photoshop, you may have been intimidated. They're not the most intuitive things either. But that's okay, I will walk you through, and you'll know everything that you need to know to at least get yourself started on incorporating some 3D things in Photoshop at the end of this course. Now, the requirements for this course is, of course, Photoshop. I'm using the latest version, Photoshop CC, that was updated in January of 2014. And I do make use of a Wacom digital tablet, although it's not required for this course. And there's only one time or two that it actually comes in handy. I also do expect that you would know how to use the basic tools within Photoshop. This course will not be instruction on how to perform those tasks, but just make passing reference to the fact that they are required in the workflow. This course is broken down into different chapters. Chapter one is 3D compositing, where we will take a 3D model and we will composite it into a photograph using the 3D tools among other features within Photoshop. Chapter two is another popular project, the planet, where we will create our own 3D planet using the 3D features within Photoshop and add a fun little sci-fi force field around it. And the last chapter is a handful of techniques that I call getting creative. These are features in Photoshop that don't really fit in the previous three projects, but are worth knowing about. Now, before we begin, I want to point out that my entire goal for all my courses is that you learn and grow. I'm not as concerned with the final products of your artwork, more so that you pick up some new skills, that you expand your abilities as an artist. And that's my primary job here, is to present material so that you may do that. Now, 3D can be a lot of fun in Photoshop. It may look intimidating, it may look unintuitive, and in some cases it really is. But don't worry about it. I'll help you through this every step of the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and launch Lesson 2, and we'll start exploring the 3D workspace.